So here it is, I think I look alright in mirror pictures, but I look negative 5 PSL stroke victim in back camera photos. I take a photo of myself using back camera then invert it, I look perfectly normal in the inverted but a monster in the other, still without answers as to which I actually look. We received this message from one of our followers on Instagram, and he was worried about why he looks less attractive in pictures than in a mirror. We like how we look in the mirror but when someone takes a picture of us, we just look awful as if we were two different people, not only our confidence comes crashing down, but we also get confused about which one is the real us, how come the reflection in the mirror and our photograph are in such contrast to each other. Why do we look less attractive in pictures than in a mirror? Shakespeare whose magic finger touches most of the peaks of human nature, describes the mirror as a reliable tool to confront ourselves with our real images and overcome excessive self-love, based on an excessively favorable self-representation of beauty. However, instead of a faithful representation of reality, the mirror reflects a horizontally flipped image of our faces as they are viewed by others and recorded in photographs, reversing asymmetries and side-specific details, such as hair orientation. This mirror image is what we are familiar with and used to recognize as our real image. Interestingly, psychological research, recently validated in a plastic surgery setting, demonstrates that individuals tend to prefer a facial photograph corresponding to their mirror image rather than their true image. The most concrete and familiar image of our face is the reflection we see in the mirror, it is there when we brush our teeth, comb our hair, do makeup or simply get ready for the day, the reflection you see every day in the mirror is the one you perceive to be original and hence a better looking version of yourself, you've established a preference for that look on your face. So, when you look at a photo of yourself, your face seems to be weird or uncanny as it is reversed from how you are used to seeing it. How often do you look in a mirror, compare that with the number of photos you take, you realize that you look in a mirror more often than you take pictures. This constant use makes your brain stick to the image of you in a mirror, but it is worse for you because you are used to the image in your mirror, seeing a photo that distorts your familiarity with yourself, thus making you think you look awful. This phenomenon is explained by the mere exposure effect postulated by Zajonk in 1968, according to which mere repeated exposures of an individual to a stimulus are a sufficient condition for the enhancement of stimulus evaluation. The study mentioned that family and friends of the subject preferred the non-reversed version, as that's what they used to seeing, but you prefer the mirrored version because of the mere effect. One of the main reasons why our face looks weird in pictures is because of our facial asymmetries, nobody has a perfectly symmetrical face including supermodels, the left and right side of your face may not seem that different, but each side of a face creates strikingly different versions of the same person, that's not the case. When what we see in the mirror is flipped, it looks alarming because we're seeing rearranged halves of what are two very different faces. Your features don't line up, curve, or tilt the way you're used to viewing them in a mirror. So unless you are blessed with a perfectly symmetrical face, you are going to notice some differences in non-flipped pictures. This is exactly the reason you may feel you are the least photogenic person in a group, as everybody else's face is the way you see them every day, except yours. When we look in the mirror, we have full and instant control, if we do not like the angle, we react immediately by changing our face and adjusting the posture and expression to give it a more satisfying look. When looking in the mirror, we usually focus on a particular part of our face like lips, nose, eyes, etc., and don't realize how it all looks together, when we look at a photo, on the other hand, we perceive everything at once and condemn it, the posture, the expression on the face, and everything else that we usually do not pay attention to. Moreover, pictures only provide a 2D version of ourselves, depending on your features, if you have a soft, round face, photos can flatten your features and further distort the real you. 
This is why posing and facial expressions are very important in the modeling industry, models have already mastered them like sucking their cheeks and squinting to appear perfect in a picture, along with that good camera skills with lightning can even make you look more attractive than you actually are in real life. Another reason you look different in pictures is because the version of yourself you like best is a figment of your imagination. According to a 2008 study, people tend to think they're more attractive than they really are. In the experiment, researchers photoshopped pictures of participants to make them look more attractive and then mixed those with photos of strangers. Next, they asked the subjects to pick their picture out of a lineup, people were quicker at picking photos where they looked more attractive, concluding that attractiveness was the version of themselves they were most familiar with. People view us as the photo version of ourselves, but this isn't exactly true, a picture can be affected by the quality of the camera, the lighting in the environment, and many other factors. These factors tend to compromise the quality of a photo, our brains work in a way that does not notice the differences in lighting when we look in the mirror, because it automatically aligns and shows us an expression on our face close to what we are used to seeing. The camera does not work this way, Although good lighting is the key to all flattering photos, a harsh flash can actually make you look a lot worse, especially if it's taken in a dark room. In fact, according to OkCupid, OK harsh camera flashes add 7 years to your face. In addition to making you look shiny and greasy, cameras can't adjust to lightness and darkness the ways our eyes naturally can. Cameras can only focus on highlights or shadows, and sometimes that can result in lighting that can be less than flattering. A good rule of thumb is to stick to natural or outdoor lighting instead. A person's proximity to the camera also comes into play, features that are closest to the lens are going to be emphasized in the photo like noses. And when we take selfies, we're generally closer to the camera than we would be if someone else were taking our photo. Lens distortion can occur depending on how far away you are from the camera, and it can change how you look in a photo. One of the limitations that people have found with selfies is that they often distort the subject's face. Moreover, the type of lens and poor camera quality, and other technical factors can affect the output of your pictures, the factors explained in this video along with the mirror effect gives you an illusion of a much more unattractive face than you have in real life. If you want to fix this issue try taking frequent pictures, a recent study compared selfie takers and non-selfie takers perceptions of their selfies versus photographs taken by others, the selfie takers perceived themselves as more attractive and likable in their selfies than in others' photographs, but non-selfie takers viewed both photographs similarly, revealing notable biases in self-perception. This further confirms the mere exposure hypothesis, as individuals find selfies more attractive as they become more familiar with them. If you are still confused or worried about it, you can order a custom facial analysis report from our website, and we will be happy to help you to diagnose your problems and suggest advice with the help of science.